Hello, my name is Rex Wen. I'm an Iron Speed Designer MVP, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to make changes in your backend database and how to get the Iron Speed Designer application to update and reflect those changes in your pages for you. And when this comes into play is when you need to make a change to a table by adding or removing a field or a field type. And this process of how to do this elegantly um, isn't always obvious, I think, to a lot of people who are using Iron Speed Designer. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, I've got a sample application I've created that I've used in other demonstrations called Third Party. And Third Party, I've created just a document um, management prototype where I've got a user ID field for the user changing the document, a date created, revision date, file name, just some basic information in here that I would like to expose out in the user interface for the user to update. And this add document page is bound directly to oop, my document table in my SQL Server 2005 database. And here you'll see I've got some other fields that aren't showing up. For example, I've got a file ID field that I didn't expose. And I think there might be a few others. So just looking over this, um, let's say that I have, it's been requested that I add an additional field comments. And this is a place where users can just make off the cuff comments about checking in a document, something to that effect that relates specifically to the document. I'm going to allow nulls, which means this isn't going to be required and I'm going to save this back to the database. Now, when I come back into Iron Speed, obviously it's not going to pick up this change as it is. Um, there's no comment field here. There's no way Iron Speed has of knowing at this point what we've done. And in order to get Iron Speed to be aware of that change in the database, we need to go into the Tools menu, Database Schema. And to do this thoroughly, you can scan all tables for changes. Um, I take a shortcut, good or bad, indifferent. I just go ahead and tell it to accept all changes. Um, this way it goes through and you can see it is scanning the database for changes right now. It's picked up changes for us and it's going to expose that related field. The changes below were found. Press OK to accept all of these changes. Well, here's, here's the changes below that it detected. Let me drag that in. So changes were detected in file repository document table accept these changes, blah, blah, blah. So, okay, I'm going to click this message box and I'm going to say, okay. And it's just going to refresh the application now. When I first started using Iron Speed, I had the expectation that this field would automatically be added to my forms after I did this. And it was a little bit confusing to understand that what it's done at this point is it's made this field available now and I can go ahead and add this on an individual page by page basis so let's go ahead and look at how we're gonna do that so I'm in my document folder my add document page And as we can see here, we're not going to have a comment field in here anywhere, which used to be kind of confusing for me. I would go into the application wizard, add and remove the form to get it to add that in there. I'd lose any custom code I made. It was kind of a hassle until I started thinking about the process a little bit more. And in this configure tab that I just clicked, what we can do and and I'm in Iron Speed Designer version 4.0.3 this configure tab should be available in any of them uh, I think it's been there a long time so this be. and I can just push this right over and it's kind of fitting that it pushes it over at the bottom uh, which is fine I can move this up and it will actually change where it positions this field in the form. I like it down at the bottom, so I'm just going to leave it there. 
And I could step all the way through this process, but I don't really have a need to, so I'm just going to say finish. And what we'll see when we come back into our form is that that comments field has now been added at the bottom. So let's go have a look at that, and sure enough, here it is. Now this has automatically set up the binding for me in this add page code. I can go ahead now, I can run this application, I can insert comments and they're going to be written to the database. And this is how we make changes in the database and we synchronize iron speed. And this same process would apply if I went back now into the repository document table and I deleted this field. We would go through the exact same process of going up here into tools and I, I would just accept all changes and it'll automatically pick up that that document is no longer or excuse me that that field isn't available probably prior to doing that um, I would remove that field from your pages just to save any headaches that might come but that in a nutshell is how we can make changes in the database and have iron speed pick up on those changes Subsequently, there will be times where you'll make a change in the database and you'll go through the process I've just described and you might run the application and then get some errors. What I advise is anytime you do make a change in the database like what I've just de demonstrated is that you go into this build menu and rebuild all. It might, it'll take longer to get your application going but in the end it's a good way to avoid any synchronization errors, issues that might exist between the application itself and the database. And that's all I wanted to discuss in this video. I hope it works for you and answers any questions that you may have had regarding synchronization between the database and the application. Thank you.